Hello guys, so here's a quick comparison video between the Bussy Battle Mistress and the Work Tough Gear Aura Borealis Grizzly. So these knives are, have some similarities. The blades on each of these knives are around 10 inches. The Bussy is a bit longer because the handle is a bit longer, but they're both around quarter inch thick, as you can see here. So those are obviously pretty robust knives, good choppers. Both have also finger choils and both come with uh, some contoured handles. This one is G10 and this one is a micarta handle. All right, so let's take a look at those handles. So you can see here on the bussy knives, it's a micarta handle, has a pronounced coke bottle shape, 3D texturing, so that's pretty nice. Feels very good in the hand. And on the Grizzly, it's a bit less pronounced, so also fits very nice in the hand. So both of these knives have a finger choil here, so it can definitely choke up. And that really helps, you know, when we do finer tasks. There's a thumb rest here, and also helps, you know, if you want to push cut, etc. What are some differences? Well, here, this bussy knife, usually bussy knives use Infi steel, but sometimes they make models in SR101. So those are, proprietary steels we don't know the exact composition of these steels whereas here for the work tough it uses k329 steel which is uh, pretty much the same thing as a8 mod steel so another difference here is that as you can see the grizzly has a wider blade significantly wider than on here the the bussy knife and if you look at the tip there's some difference here you have a semi clip point semi drop clip point versus this, which is a pretty much a straight point here. So if you look at the tips of the knives, both are pretty robust, so they're not gonna break if you want to pry or anything like that. But uh, the tip here on the Grizzly is a bit more profiled. All right, so we're gonna do a chopping comparison, 20 chop per knife, and we're gonna start here with the bussy knife. All right. Try the grizzly now. All right. So, pretty comparable. Both are pretty good choppers. All right, so we're gonna do some batoning. Let's start with the grizzly here. Pretty good. All right, now the bussy knife. All right, so we're gonna do some snap cuts to cut some thinner vegetation. All right, so let's go. All right, the bussy knife. All right, so we're gonna do some cross-cut batoning. Let's start with the bussy. Pretty good. All right, so let's start with, start with the grizzly here.
So we're gonna do some feather sticking with both knives. The finger troll definitely helps. Some pretty good feather sticks. All right, let's go with the bussy knife. Yep, both are pretty good at that. All right, so we're gonna try to do some notching here. Pretty easy. Not as easy with the busty knife. I think it's, it's thicker behind the edge. All right, so here the the spine of the bussy knife doesn't look to be a 90 degree. I think it's beveled here, so I'm not sure that's going to work with a fair rod. We can give it a shot. No, really, it's not going to be possible. All right, so here the spine on the, the grizzly is sharpened to 90 degree, so that should work out. No problem. All right, so what are some conclusions? Well, as you can see, both of these knives are excellent choppers. They can chop really well. They're good at uh, limbing trees. They're good at batoning. One of the benefits of the Work Tough Gear knife is that well, the, the, sharp, the sharp spine really helps you if you wanna you know, shave some tinder or scrape a ferro rod. So I think that's a benefit. On top of that, another benefit is that when you buy the Work Tough Gear knife, you get a pretty nice kydex sheath whereas the bussy knives they ship without a sheath and you need to make your own or buy it which is some extra expense so there's another difference there but overall you know those both of these knives performed very well and i think you know if you need a sturdy survival knife you'd be well served with either of them